let me talk to you about success. Let me finish my coffee, I'll take a shower, and let's have a chat. That's better. So when do you when do you consider yourself successful? When do you feel that you're wealthy? You see, wealth can be made up of different things for different people. For some people, it's the abundance of finances. For some people, it's the abundance of quality relationships when they have their family or their friends around them. For other people, it's just being healthy, fit energetic and mentally uh, ready for life. For other people it's about having time. On this channel and my core belief is that genuine wealth is made up of all the different kind, all of these aspects of life, day to day living. Success is not something you arrive at. Success and wealth, genuine wealth, is something you live every day. Hi there and welcome to this channel. My name is Julie Vedemann and I'm the founder and the chief wealth coach at Veda Market. I'm also full-time employed so I consider myself a part-time entrepreneur. I work during the day, give my all, dedicated and ready to do whatever it takes to serve the customers and clients that I have at the company I work for. Then I come home in the evenings and spend time making these videos and a few other projects that I plan to bring to market in the near future. So I'm trying something a little different with this video and I hope that during this conversation you and I are having that there's something that sparks for you to help you realize that you are already wealthy, you already have wealth in your life and that success is something that's ever changing. Once you reach a certain goal, there's always going to be something more that you want to reach. There's always going to be something else that you want to do. Make sure that you are fulfilled at the end of every day. Give your all, spend your energy, invest your energy, invest your time, invest whatever you're working on, make it a vested interest for you so it grows into something in the future. The habits you've formed today and the habits, habits you develop and the skills you develop today will have results in the future. Not everything you do will have an effect on tomorrow. It might be a month from now, it might be a year from now, it might be a decade from now. So what I'm trying to say is that success takes time. Anybody you look at today and you consider them successful, they started somewhere. Everybody starts at zero. Have you started? Have you started your journey towards reaching that goal, reaching that business, making that business work? Jack Ma of Alibaba said in a speech of his or at a conference or something, he said that if you plan to get out in three years, make yourself ready to do it in five. If you plan to do it in five years, make yourself ready to do it in 10. Realize life is long, it takes time. It takes time to develop the habits, it takes time to learn the skills, it's, it takes time to create the network and the professional relationships for you to be able to reach a certain goal in your, in your professional life, in your business. It takes time to develop the friendships and relationships with people that can help you along the way. Have you heard of the book Outliers? by Malcolm Gladwell. You can of course go read the book, I've read it, and it is a fantastic book about the story of success. And throughout the whole book, it goes through different aspects of different people's success from different walks of life. The reality is that success, as the way we define it, doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't happen by having one talent, it doesn't happen by just having one opportunity. It is a combination of hard work, multiple opportunities, a skill that is in demand, 
a high paying skill, a high income skill, and the commitment and persistence to work through it and make it work long term. Success doesn't happen overnight. It happens as a combination of many long nights and long hours extra and beyond what you do today, beyond what you've done in the past. I shared a clip on this channel and I'll play it for you now, right here. As Jim Rohn used to say, he said, it's not becoming a millionaire that's important, it's the person that you must become in order to become a millionaire. Yeah. You, you, you have to become a completely different person. You have to, you have to develop character beyond 99% of the people in the world. You have to develop honesty and discipline and, and quality relationships and, and the willingness and the ability to work and set priorities and, and all kinds of stuff because without that, nothing is possible. So you see, it takes more than just waking up in the morning and going to bed in the evenings. It takes dedication and commitment. I want to bring your attention to the three P's. Or I use a lot of P's on this channel, <laughs> I just realized. But there are three P's that you need to consider. Passion, people and persistence. You need to do something that you are passionate about. Something that has purpose, has meaning. Doing meaningful work. In his book, Malcolm Gladwell says, hard work is only a prison if it doesn't have meaning. Once it does, it's the kind of thing that grabs your, that makes you grab your wife around the waist and dance a jig. So why is passion important? By the way, at Vader Market, this idea of the abundance of finances, the abundance of quality relationships, the abundance of health and the abundance of time or control of your time is all, all of this is anchored at one specific idea. It's centered around purpose, meaning, passion. What is it that makes you get up in the morning? What is it that gets you excited? What is it that, that makes you want to jump up and dance? scream at the top of your lungs this is it I'm gonna do it that passion will help you through the tough times this is why passion is so important is that when times are tough when you're bleeding and you're hey, bumping your head against the wall and you can't find a way over or around that wall passion is what makes you come back and say okay let's take a step back and find out what the next step is, what the solution is to this frustration or this obstacle. There will be times that you don't have the answer and that is why the second P, people, is so important. You have to have the right people around you. You have to have the quality relationships and the network that will help you overcome certain things, whether it be a mentor or your life partner or a business partner or a family member or a friend that can just give you a little bit of a different perspective or just spark that idea of that's it that's how I'm going to overcome this obstacle this is how I break through the wall that I'm running into and then the persistence once you've identified your passion you've surrounded yourself with the right people and the quality relationships and you have an abundance of quality relationships around you and even people that you coach even people that you mentor those people can even spark some idea and have some insight into something that you're missing but the persistence the long-term hard work putting in the effort long term that makes the difference between someone who is still working towards success and someone who's reached a certain level of success. The next piece of information or next tip I want to give you is stay humble. Don't ever think that you've arrived. Don't ever think that you know it all and always keep learning and educating yourself. Wealthy people, successful people, people who reach the top are always educating themselves. 
I've heard this phrase the other day in a video by Vusi Tim Kwai where he said that innovation encourages imitation. So once you start reaching some success, then people will start copying you. And you shouldn't be worried about that. It is a compliment. They're giving you a feather in your hat because you're, you're showing them the way. And that is why it is so important to always be innovating, always be learning, always be educating yourself so that you can always stay ahead and evolve from where you started to where you're going. Where you're going, there are some goals and stuff around uh, along the way. And the more important thing really about success is who you become. As John Rohn used to say in this clip I shared earlier. Who you become in the process of becoming successful or reaching your goals and accumulating and building wealth, that is almost, almost the only goal to reach for. The only goal to strive for is becoming the best version of yourself. And that is a daily thing. And this is why I say that success is a lifestyle. Wealth is a lifestyle. It is something you live every day and you dedicate yourself to learning something every day and getting better than the person you were yesterday. To me, that is success and that is genuine wealth. If you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, also great. Leave a comment below with what you think success is how do you define success how do you define wealth in your life and what are the things that are important for you to achieve going forward and building your dream life one day at a time check out the content on the rest of this channel and you'll find that there are many different aspects to building wealth and success and multiple streams of income and I hope you find a, vi a video on this channel that'll spark that idea for you to get, get clicking, get stepping and keep going. Be blessed, take care, I'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers.